Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. Now you'll be seeing how do we actually navigate between the URLs on our using our Selenium Web Driver scripts. Now, so before I start that, what are the main things that we actually do in a browser? We actually go back, go forward, or we can refresh a page. So now for all these, Selenium Web Driver has given us some commands that we can use to navigate to and fro. So the very first would be navigate to. This method would actually load down whatever the URL that you have passed as a string onto the browser and would land on that particular page. After this, say you want to go, uh, go forward to a particular page by navigate.forward. Like we have general two buttons on our browser, the back and the forward. Whatever action is done by the forward is done by using the navigate.forward command or the navigate.forward uh, button. After this, we have a navigate.back. What does navigate.back do? It goes down to the previous page, similar to the back button of our browser. And final and the last one, but not the least, is navigate.refresh. It actually refreshes the current page and also it, it also accepts nothing as parameter and has no return value or type associated with it. So, now let's quickly go to our screens and see working of all these methods one by one. So guys, uh, welcome back again. Uh, now, like as we have already discussed about the navigation commands, we have, uh, you know, already seen that what are the main functions that the navigation, uh, you know, navigation commands provide us. Now, be like, you know, let us see the actual implementation of the navigation commands into our Eclipse, right? So, uh, let's get started. Let's open up our Eclipse. In the Eclipse, uh, we are supposed to create a new project, right? Now, I've already created a project and uh, I have named that project as Navigation Commands Demo. In this, in this particular package, I would actually create a new class. I name it as Navigation Commands. I name it as Navigation Commands Demo, right? So after naming it after as navigation commands demo, uh, we have to then choose that like what all methods or what all you know stuffs we want to create. I choose that yes, I want the main method to be present into this particular Java class. So here's my you know the my workspace has workspace of my workbench wherein I would be actually typing and would be working on and performing my navigation commands right so let's uh, write that uh, navigation commands demo now what all you would be covering you would be here covering the dot two function the dot back one dot forward and obviously dot refresh right so now what would be the basic step that you know that we need to perform Yes, first of all, we need to set the property for this particular web driver. We set the property as web driver dot geeku dot driver. Herein, we need to pass that, you know, where is my web driver place? If you can check that the web driver is already there into this project, right? So, I just pass the name that is Geeko driver now guys you have to make sure that you are passing the exact you know the exact file path and the exact extension for the Geeko driver right web driver now what I'll do the very first step would be to actually create what the object of the web driver by object I mean that I need to you know have a new uh, or uh, you know a new instance of a particular driver that should open up and I should be able to perform my operations right so here's the web driver I had named it as driver and I create a new Maronte driver you can even choose other drivers that would be covered up you know later on when we discuss it it was giving me an error and I was supposed to you know import this particular web driver class after this what should be my basic step right now what I'm supposed to perform I'm supposed to open some URL or open some pages right so what I'll do is I'll simply 
using the driver I would go to navigate in the navigate what I'll do is I'll have the following options you know wherein either I can you know wait I can navigate to a particular URL I can refresh the page I can go forward I can you know have a comparison with an object and I can go back so what should be the very first step you know when you open or when you want to open a driver yes first you need to load a particular page let us open http .com, right? now what is the expected output that the driver that I have just opened up this like the web driver it should navigate to the particular URL that is HTTP then colon then double slash www.tutorialspoint.com yes guys you need to make sure that you know you are using HTTP over here because without HTTP this won't work right so after this I actually print a line out dot print rn. now what I'm printing here is uh, I'm printing landing page of tutorials point now what is the use of this this is just a, you know a kind of console which uh, information views which you would be seeing on the console to ensure that yes all these you know functionalities or all this particular pages are working fine what I do is after this I simply navigate now to further now I want to go to www.google.com I now go to google.com here also I print now by printing like this simple I'll write Google landing page this is just you know this is not shown to the user this is just for my understanding and to you know to show you guys that yes you know these commands have been executed in proper order and are working fine after this now this this was the basic use of the two command or the two function of the navigation commands now I actually want to navigate back now after this what should happen is you should go to the tutorialspoint.com page right after this now what we'll do is first let us run this particular project and then see you know how it performs for this I right click this one the class that I want to run I go to run as I choose Java application so here's my system it opens up the tutorials.com point.com and then it goes back to Google and comes back to this point are you able to catch it what I'll do is let me go back to Eclipse and remove this back command for now we can also run this project using this shortcut like this is you know a shortcut to run as Java application so tutorialspoint.com then google.com right quite simple now I want that I should be navigated to back to tutorialspoint.com uh, herein after I am you know done with uh, coming to tutorialspoint.com I want to navigate forward here I would be coming back to now google.com right let me see if it actually runs it so a, a web driver opens up tutorialspoint.com has opened up it goes to google.com then it goes to it goes back to this point and then come back to Google see this is done at in you know in such a short span of time that you are not able to catch you know or catch hold of the proper instances running right now I'll quickly go back to my Eclipse here in the Eclipse what I'll do is I'll copy and paste 
Now let me run this one. Back to Dodo's point and back Google, right? So if you can look at look at the Eclipse properly, you would be able to find landing page at Fiddlespoint.com, Google landing page, landing page at Fiddles point from back, and Google landing page using forward. Guys, we have a, another command in which you know we can easily identify that if the if the you know flow is coming back from our page or not. What I'll do is I'll print the title of this page. You know, let's just use this command for now. That is get title. I would be explaining this command in the upcoming sessions when we are attending about the get command. So don't worry about this. A very simple and basic command using the driver object and trying to get the title of the page. Nothing more. You know, whatever by title means. If you all have been through HTML, you would be aware that HTML provides an option, you know, in which we can add a title to a particular page, right? Like the head tag, the title, the head tag, the title tag, right? So just we are just adding the title, right? I am adding the title after each command and I remove out the landing pages one. Now let's see, you know, we would be actually able to see the flow and the title at the same time. So this is my flow running to this point, Google. I'll go back to my Eclipse. Here is my Eclipse. See, to this point, the title of this one, the title of the Google website, the title of to this point and the title of Google, right? Now, we were left with one more command that is driver dot navigate dot refresh right now like if in case my values have been updated or like say uh, I'm using Gmail and I want to check that you know how I received any new mails so for this one we even have an option wherein we can refresh and after the refreshing one we would be actually able to you know uh, refresh the page and get the new UI or the new page that has their as per our requirement So the page got refreshed again, if you observe clear, carefully. So not much details needed, but now like guys, as you can see that, you know, like for each of the running of my uh, script or running of my test case, I have got a new instance of Firefox running, right? Now, how do I control this, right? So this is first of all a problem at our end because we are having so many Firefox running up. This would be consuming a lot of memory for us, right? So after we are done with our commands, I just type driver.quit. Now what will driver.quit do? Driver.quit will, you know, quit this particular instance of web driver. What I'll do just just to demonstrate you, I'm closing all the Firefox uh, manually, and you would see that after I run this particular test case, there won't be any instance of. But yes, like this would obviously be you know uh, running very fast, and we won't be even you know able to get the difference. So what I'm doing is, I'm just putting a very small counter where you know I'm just making the driver sleep like the main thread sleep for some milliseconds the advantage of this particular process would be that uh, meanwhile the system is you know running and you know it's performing its action uh, we can easily catch before the quit is or quit is called we are actually able to you know understand that yes what all operations have been performed so my driver opens up to this point google.com to do this point and again Google and again Google page refreshes right now for after 5000 second milliseconds like see the browser has been closed automatically and there is no instance running of the Mozilla browser over here so guys this was all about the navigation commands as of now thank you for tuning in stay tuned as we take you through the other lectures in detail thank you